About two and a half years ago, I was looking for ways to differentiate microchip from our competitors, while at the same time coming up with ways that our customers could get their products to market more rapidly at a lower cost. And I realized there was a group of companies out there called industrial designers who were calling on the same customers we were calling on, but that we weren't working together. When I saw that, I, I, I called Nectar and, and came in and said, you know, I think there's an opportunity for us to partner together so that we can help these customers get to market more rapidly, yet differentiate both of our companies from our competitors and work with our industrial designers along with our electronics designers so that they could differentiate themselves from their competitors at the same time. So it'd be a win-win scenario we could create for the industrial designer, the electronics designer, and for the end customer. We started Nectar in the early 1990s with the idea that we would combine mechanical engineering and industrial design so that we could bring an integrated development solution to clients. We have industrial designers, mechanical engineers, electronics engineers, model makers, tooling resources. We also have a large network of consultants that we work with. Our facilities here uh, comprises a, a 7,000 square foot building. It's, it's an open warehouse feel here. We have high ceilings. We don't believe in cubicles, so all the desks are open, which allows everybody to collaborate and talk with each other easily. We have multiple meeting spaces. We've got a lot of uh, whiteboards everywhere. Make, makes it easy to have sidebar meetings and jot ideas down. We also have a complete shop in the back with a CNC and complete set of uh, prototyping equipment. Here at Nectar, we have extensive CAD capabilities where we develop complex assemblies from scratch. We then pull these models into a virtual simulation environment where we perform finite element analysis for safety, strength, vibration response, kinematics, buckling. We also have CFD capabilities that perform fluid flow analysis uh, for things such as virtual wind tunnels and heat transfer. Our core competencies are industrial design, mechanical engineering, based on research and innovation. We work with a range of clients from the startup entrepreneurs through to Fortune 500 companies. A very diverse portfolio of clients here at Nectar, you know, ranging from medical companies like St. Jude Medical, Edwards Life Sciences, consumer companies like Belkin and Toshiba, and industrial companies like Aminix. Over the past 20 years, we've won a fair number of awards for the work that we've done for our clients. So just recently, we've gotten four IDEA awards for some work that we've done for a Canadian client. Um, they had licensed a technology called nanobubble technology. What nanobubble technology is, is it adds little microbubbles of oxygen into the water as it's passing through these huge systems. So our client engaged us to essentially develop a product for a consumer scale so we developed the line of gardening products which incorporated this nanobubble technology and essentially what it does is it increases the growth of anything you water, whether it be your lawn or fruits and vegetables by about 30%. It's almost like adding fertilizer to the water, but essentially it's just adding these micro bubbles of oxygen. The solar flora is, is a 15 foot tall flower that has glowing green leaves and provides power to uh, uh, people that want to charge their laptops and cell phones or segways. So it has electronics that monitors its power budget and it also turns the lights and the power outlets on and off at various times of the day. So this project has garnered a lot of attention for us. Um, we were uh, asked to give a TED talk on it last year. Uh, it made it into Oprah Magazine. I think we got a full page spread in Oprah for that project. And the city of Long, we partnered with the city of Long Beach and installed it in front of the Long Beach Convention Center. Now, recently we uh, finished a hydrogen electrolyzer project at, which had a, a power control module which uh, uh, regulated the reaction of the hydrogen generator and uh, monitored various uh, sensors for, for safety. We also did a, uh, a fire safety light, which would illuminate a doorway in case of a uh, fire in a home or small business. 
It would listen for the sound of smoke alarms going off and uh, turn the light on. Uh, another one was a, a medical reminder. It's kind of the size of a, uh, a Livestrong bracelet. It reminds patients to take their medications and you know, cost of medication. Uh, if a patient falls off their prescription, they can uh, have to repeat the regimen. Uh, did a bicycle light. It was sealed. It had rechargeable batteries. Charged by a USB, so a charging circuit. Um, we also did a more complicated thing, an electronic uh, art piece which has hundreds of lights and uh, would respond to music and the user could program the lighting pattern and uh, uh, you can use his computer, you can use his cell phone to, to control it and I can meditate to it. It's a very uh, interesting piece. 